Hi, everybody. I'm Peggy. I'm Laura. And we are Urban, Urban Boots. Oh, I got the t-shirt today. And I finally got a shirt on. <laughs> I'm, I got on my Nets t-shirt because Brooklyn, we go hard. You know that? There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, today it's October. So keeping in line with that, we are still celebrating beer. For you beer folks out there, and don't come for me because I know last week I had ginger beer and it's not really beer, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to be right this time. Actually, well, I'm going to tell you a faux pas I made, and, and it looks like Laura did too. I ran in thinking, oh, Budweiser makes a beer arena. Yep. A nod to our conversation with, uh, so was it Celeste? Celeste Beatty. Right. Uh, I grabbed this going, yeah, this is a beer arena. And then I read it and I said, Mango arita, sparkling margarita, so eh, no. Well, I, I did the same thing because this is our um bodega beer show. So right, this is our bodega, bodega beer show. That's right, it's a bodega beer show. <laughs> grabbing something that's from the bodega. This was there, and I was like, oh, let me get this. And then I got this, which is going to be special oh. because it be, it's savory, though, because it's got tomato sauce. Tomato, right, it's a Modelo Chalada. So that'll be interesting. Oh. And then I've got the Bud Light Seltzer, which I guess is seltzer and vodka. And I know Coors makes one. So again, as, I, as you said, we were doing bodega beers. Right. So I have to go back and get something called Party Crasher, but the can nice. is so pretty. And I thought of Peggy. The Tori and me loves that. Mm -hmm. And I got this some this called Sanguine with the Blood Orange, I'm going to compare it to our favorite grapefruit beer, our Hefelmeisen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay, my intent was, because this is a bodega beer show, mm -hmm. to find something from a bodega, all I bought was a margarita, so that wasn't it. So I went in my fridge, y'all, and uh, I will be trying, I'll be opening Five Burrows Brewing Company, Mm -hmm. Tiny juicy IPA, something that Laura said she didn't like. Yeah, and but I always have to share that joy with Peggy. <laughs> and my last can of Black, Black is, is beautiful. beautiful. What a culture. Mm -hmm. What a culture. What a culture. But we actually got ours in Brooklyn from KCBC. Right. There so right. mine is long gone. <laughs> <laughs> I actually gifted two of mine uh, to my son's karate teachers, and they loved it. Right here. This this is the juicy IPA. I know, you know, Laura didn't like it, but first of all, it smells like fruit. And um it reminds me of a corona. Um, because the bitterness is not really strong. It's it's lemony, citrusy, refreshing. I like it. it. For the lime or and the beach. You know, had I had it, had I had lime, I ran out. But not not bad. I wouldn't mind using um, a beer like this, like a light cit citrusy kind of beer. Like that would probably work with that. And uh, and of course, we're looking at this stout. Lord, I am not an alcoholic, y'all, but I know what it looks like. I really do. But this yeah. chocolate, that, coffee, vanilla. That is so. That is so. I wish I had one. But we drank all of ours, and, and it I smells. Can you can smell the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, a nice stout. Uh, and I, I haven't decided what kind of, am I an IPA girl? I'm a stout girl. I'm probably neither, but if it's there, I, you know, I'll try it. I'm a fresh Heffenweiser girl, I think. Mm. And I think you are too, to some degree. You like, yeah. you like the Schopenhofer. I like this too. Um, you know, I, the, the coffee and the chocolate lover in me likes it. Now, will it be something I seek out? No. But I'm a support. Whenever I see somebody, just I'm going to support. But I'm going to say this is not bad. And for that to be my introduction mm -hmm. to stout, I'm like, okay. okay. If I'm at a party, is there? I'll support. I'm really interested because remember you mentioned there's a pumpkin spice. I would love to try to the different. making the one. Yeah, we have to try. That's the beauty of this black is beautiful beer. Right. We Every can try. Everybody's got their little twist on the recipe. Yeah, and wherever you guys are, I mean, he did give this recipe to at least 215 craft brewers. Mm -hmm. Look it up, Google it, see where you can find it. KCBC did the exact recipe. They made no changes to it. So this is, you know, I, and I guess I can't remember his name. I feel so bad. Um, that's the original formula. 
Okay. Now, what would I drink it with? I was thinking a piece of chocolate. I don't know. Or just now. Not. That's you would go with. You know, that's kind of that's heavyweight. Think about like potatoes and mm. you know savory food. Mm. I think I would put savory food with that. Yeah, I mean, it's a little heavy. It's not. It's not offending my palate. But I don't know. I might have to mix it. I think last time I did it in my Hamilton drink and I mixed some other stuff with it. Oh, and right, I was able right. To drink. You made it. Remember? Yeah, yeah. That colonial mix. Colonial that I did mix, yeah. That had like cream and rum. And I out and I'll probably will do that just so that I'm not wasting it. I like this. It's fresh. It is light. It is, um, it's not bitter. And it doesn't, but it doesn't have a, grapefruit it doesn't it's called party crasher i don't know maybe it's mm. high content but this one is made at the lic long island city beer project so it's a beer from queens so taurus the bull okay not to use this beer and i'll, I'll get a can for you cool yeah this I, it's just pretty it's just it's light it's refreshing it's all right the other one i don't know i i do measure if you have an orange or a grapefruit or something all okay. i'm thinking is my Schopenhofer. And this isn't that. Well, Once what again. I will well I will say about the Schaffenhofer, I could drink that straight and not think what will I mix it with. That's not my my thought is I'm enjoying it, but with both of these, I'm thinking this is good. I could mix something and do something else with it because it mm -hmm. this would not be my choice. But I have it. It's here. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm gonna make use of it some kind of way. Now that we got that out the way, just real quick. Love crap, love girl. Ah! First of all, for oh the God. past few days, I've been online trying to understand. I even posted on Facebook. There was some stuff that I'm like, uh, I don't know if it's an inconsistency or it just went over my head. Okay. Number one, mm -hmm. um, when Christina slash Ruby pushed Nettie off that, you know, that precipice and Nettie, Nettie was dead. She would have given her back the protection because she killed Ruby. Remember that. Well, yeah, she killed she, Ruby. And I think she did feel something for Ruby. She did, mm -hmm. you know, and she kind of owed her. And so after she killed her, she was like, well, I told her I took it away, but I'll give it back. And she doesn't need to know. She didn't tell her, oh, I gave it back to you, and now this fight means nothing. She gave it back and handled her business makes sense but i thought it was sort of out of character because i'm like christine trying to conquer and destroy and she's like that is one last person out thing. of my way she wasn't really trying to conquer and destroy remember what she said it's not personal i just gotta have all of this so i can have you know you know how that thing that we always hear we hear mm -hmm. it all, all the time oh it's not personal it's like it is personal you're doing this to me you're right. literally touch, you but know, then it me. was a different sign when it wiggly little thing this one was a full-out goat with horns but remember um Nettie spoke to hannah remember well he's in you that's why you're here you're family now you're carrying family if the sign had come back on Nettie's body that looked exactly how it was before I wouldn't have had a question. Right, but you said it didn't look exactly the it same. It didn't look like it, was, it at all. Right, so now, but the, with the sign that she has is the same sign, it's the birthmark. The birthmark, remember that- I know the birthmark, she had the birthmark. She, she had that mark that looked like a drawing, but mm -hmm. this one looked like a full-blown tattoo. That's why, had it been oh. the same sign that she okay. had before, I'd have said, oh, she gave her back that protection sign. But because it looked like a full, beautiful right, tattoo, it was different, horns, yeah. I was like, well, what the hell is that? So that was yeah. one. The mm -hmm. other question had to do with D. Okay. When did D get that damn arm one, which I know that could be easily answered, but mm -hmm. when did she get buddies with the sugar? Okay. When, in the very beginning, there's a, you know, when Tick has this crazy dream and the woman with the arm, we, that's D, right? She got the arm, that's D, grown up. Remember he had that dream? Re, do you remember that? And that's from episode one. And Gia yeah, was I gotta look at that over. Room. I missed that. <laughs> Gia was at the end of the dream, that woman with the red blood and the black hair, that was yeah. Gia who was standing behind him. Oh. Look at it again. Gotta look back. 
But the I aunt, I miss that. Remember when she um, she's yelling at her mother and she's like, you know, this is terrible, and mm -hmm. my arm, and and then the mother t takes her to a room. I she, remember all that. I guess. It, so that's when she got because you know, Hippolyta was smart from the get-go, but then she's had 200 years on an alternate universe and she spent that time learning and experiencing and, and naming everything. So that's when she got the arm, the mechanical arm. So we're making the assumption. We're making the assumption. Now, now also when, um, when Gia has connected Tick and Christina, and yeah. that montage of all those different yeah, things, uh -huh. you do see a moment where, you know, Tick is Tick. there. And he, he has her pet the sugar. Right, so now oh, that's so that was when I was supposed to make that connection. Oh. Yeah, I see that they couldn't they have let it run another twenty minutes. It was because, a stretch because, because Ruby it, deserved an on-screen death. That right, was cool. That actress, that character deserved mm -hmm. a better death scene. Everybody got a better death scene. And also, D was such a secondary character for it to end that way. Oh, spoiler, y'all! By the way. With her squeezing, she was not a primary character. I would have appreciated had, number one, if Rudy, Ruby had had a better, like, show her death. Show the how she struggled or something, because you know mm -hmm. Ruby's character was one that would have fought. Or show something with Nettie, or show something with Montrose. But to show it with D with this arm, um, with the shoga, I was like, wah, wah, wah. I'm also annoyed, too, because, okay, here's this little girl who is a smart, kind, compassionate. Now she nice a killer? A she's stretch. A, she's a nice little girl. She's a nice little girl, right? They leave, her friend gets killed, right? More black trauma. So she's a nice girl. Her father doesn't come back. He's dead. Her mother disappears. Her friend gets killed. She gets cursed. And, and now, now right. uh, she got cursed. Come on, first she got chased across Chicago. And then she gets cursed. And she's turning into these horrible creatures. And now she's recovered. And she's back to herself. You see, but not herself, clearly. Not herself. Now she's a murderer. That is and a why stretch. why do they leave it for the 12-year-old? They leave right. the 12-year-old to finish the job? No, yeah. we're doing something. That's what I'm like. It. I'm like, yeah, that's I, what I felt. It shouldn't have been D. Because, and to your point, mm -hmm. nice little, what, 12, 13-year-old girl? Mm -hmm. Now she a killer? When the sugar came in? Mm-hmm. I would have liked to have seen that relationship connection where when she saw him, she was like, mm. Because then I would have been able to accept the last scene. Exactly. I right. would have, it would have been cooler if, because she saw the white shoga first and they were scaring her. All she needed to do was whistle. And that would have been like, oh, you got a little pet shoga too? You're all right. You know? But no, it came no, no, no. out of surprise. It was like she didn't know he was there. Now all of a sudden he's like, got her? Right. Come on. And it was cool. But the only, the only thing I could kind of put that together in the previous episode, in the 1921 episode, um, Dora's sister was telling uh, Letty how she was like, oh, I guess, you know, it's so bad because I like George, but George likes my sister. And here's this, twin, this girl who is one generation away from slavery, but she's all the innocence. She hasn't had like all the trauma, all they they built a nice life for her and she has it. Yeah, and now we see D, who's this other little girl, you know, how many generations away, and now she's just like had to deal and compress and grow into this But that group. still didn't make sense on how they did it. I think because you're no. right. It didn't yeah, it ended, but it should have ended a different way with a different character. Well, there'll be a second season because now, now well, there's gonna be a second now. season. Tick is now, and of course, the reference to Tick is Jesus for black people. Okay, they can okay. bring people back. Yeah, they well, have all the magic now. Well, the whole point is times. Nettie has it, but he had to sacrifice his blood so that everybody else could live. And their other universe and have the power and, and have the power that have the magic. But anyway, right. I liked it. I was really, really with them. Really, I just didn't like the end. It was like, uh... I didn't like the end. It's got me thinking, and I will definitely watch it again. You know, I can binge it now. I well, can yeah. binge the whole thing in one sitting, and then maybe digest it and look for different things. And then I was still trying to understand the whole Montrose character. 
So he accepted himself as he was, whatever, because he was beating it's himself okay. up. See, that's the thing. They give the man how many episodes? Too they, many! To, to, you know, we see what his issue is. We see how he's growing. We see how he's living. And he accepts himself. The little girl, she's got to do it in, on a dime. She, um, I'm trying to think what else that I had, I had issue with. And I think that's really it in terms of I had an issue with because I just thought, you know, it shouldn't have ended with her. It, one of the main characters should have been there. Something. Well, um, I, I also found it. What kind of irked me is. Um, and then they're walking with Tick's body, and they didn't left D. What? D's mother's well, not thinking. I left my baby in the car. They don't leave. She she's an abandoned child. I think that you know the, in abandoned. the editing. I'm sure that they probably filmed all that, but they sacrificed it on the editing floor. And it showed to me. Mm. Well, I don't know. I, I it, because it looks like she's just an abandoned child. We right now, she is on the show. We can't leave you in Chicago, so we're gonna put you in. Oh, you got a pet dog now. You'll be all right. We're right. gonna leave you in the car while we go do this thing. And now, one time, there's somebody said, "Well, where's D? Let's check on D." Oh my God, they like they're carrying Tick's body. But anyway, well, but they were going back to the car with Tick's body, which is where they left D. Right, and D wasn't there. D was. She already left. Right. So anyway, my overall grade, because I'm gonna give it a grade okay. for the show. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give I'm it. I'm gonna a B. give the overall show because, because that I last think, part took away like but, twenty no, points. I, okay, I would give the last episode a B minus, but the overall show was an A plus. So I think that brings us okay. Up to an and a. when you average ish right. out, it comes to a B. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think that that last and then because you know, I, I was kind it of it was just inconsistencies. I was like, there was a lot of inconsistencies, and you know, you wonder how was a Game of Thrones? You could have a two hundred minute episode, <laughs> you know, but we can't do that for this. And I guess you know maybe they didn't get to the two hundred minute episodes until the fourth or fifth season, and this is just the first season, so right? I don't and know. I also listened to the podcast and you know, it didn't give me that much insight. You know, they certainly gave you extra reading or poetry. Do you hear the Lovecraft, the HP Lovecraft poem? Yes. Well, yeah, that's, you know, that, th that crap was powerful. And it was like, Hello. this, this mofo. But anyway, mm -hmm. and it, and also it gave a nod to him and it was a whole, you know, the whole, uh, I guess, contradiction of it all. But, Overall, it's as what a, America we're living in. Right, right. But you know, that they lived in, that we're living in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, and, and that was what Love Care Country was all about, to take sci-fi to the juxtaposition of, you know, Black life, living, living while Black, and, and how that actually looks, because no one truly cared until now, because now right. we're making them care. And this was an, an appropriate time for it. And as a science fiction lover, I appreciated it. Mm -hmm. uh, I really, really did. I mean, I know I kind of complained about D, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad that it's going to open the doors up for more content. You know? Oh yeah, I'm looking but, forward um, to more content, and I'm hoping there's, I'm hopeful that there's a season two. This was our nod to Oktoberfest and beer, and what we could get at the corner store. Yeah, what we get at the corner the store. So smash that daggone like button. If you've been here this damn long, you must like what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Join us in the conversation. Tell us if you like it. If you didn't like it, all responses are good responses. We would love to hear from you. So um, again, find us on Instagram. We're on Facebook. And, uh, you know, we look forward to you joining us in our journey. And the next one's going to be a good one. It is. Halloween. 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 So this is Urban Booth. I'm going to end with the stout. Okay. I'm going to end with this. Here we go. Where we continue to explore what's good. Sip by sip.